In this video, we're going to show you how to control a car using brain sensors. On the left is our car. On the right, you can see the EEG sensors used for measuring brain activity. The human brain produces electromagnetic signals. They can be measured using a special cap with 16 sensors. The measurements from the sensors can be interpreted as patterns by the computer. The test subject puts the sensor cap on and trains the computer. The software learns to associate two different brain patterns with left or right directions. Once the training is finished, we can ask the test subject to move a cube to the right or to the left of the computer screen. Hey, just by thinking two different things, you can control the computer. In our first experiment, the test subject uses the sensor cap to give commands to our autonomous car. The car is equipped with video cameras, radars, and laser sensors that provide the car with a full three-dimensional view of its surroundings. The car drives automatically to the corner. At the intersection, the test subject orders the car to take a right. The car continues automatically. The small frame on the upper right shows the laser sensor readings. The frame in the lower right shows the brain command for the car. After a small delay, the car turns around the corner, as you can see. For a second experiment, we trained the computer to recognize four brain patterns. The test subject can steer the car to the left or the right. He can also accelerate or decelerate the car. Of course, you should never try this at home. For safety reasons, we tested in a large open space at Tempelhof Airport in Berlin. You can see here the test subject incrementing or decrementing the steering angle. There's a slight delay between the brain command and the steering action. Remember, this is just a proof of concept. The task here was to show free driving by detecting brain patterns. There's still a long way to go until we can really take full control of machines with our brains.